Okay, so what I'm doing is a bearing change out. I'm going to go from the standard Conquest bearings and seals, and I am going to try to put the HDI bearings in. But first, we'll show some differences. Obviously, the bearings quite a bit different. Bigger set screws, bigger bearing altogether shielded housings are definitely a little bit different the old ones are thinner aluminum the new ones are steel one grease port on the new style two on the old style one on the old style is for the lip seals that seal against the axle and on this one this grease nipple is just going to be to try to push grease into the new style bearing. Okay, so the new style, when you put it together, it's going to look like this. There are no seals around the axle. So I'm not sure exactly how this is going to work. There's going to be no seal on the axle, so I think water is going to have a tendency to come in here. The grease that you put in is going to seal the outside diameter of the bearing, hopefully. So there's the new inner bearing retainer. There's also no seal here. You'd almost think that there'd be some kind of a seal to stop the grease that you pump into here from squeezing out around the outside diameter of the bearing or to the inside of the inner bearing retainer. It's a nice, nice tight fit, but you'd almost think there should be a seal there. New gaskets. Same bolt pattern as the old gaskets. So that should all line up. First thing we're going to have to do is locate this bearing on the shaft and set our set screws so it'll be a dry run first. And then We'll take it apart, tighten up set screws, and put the unit back together. Anti-seize for the shaft. Never forget your anti-seize on your shaft. It makes everything a whole lot easier coming apart down the road. And if you can, you're going to want to line up those grease ports, the grease nipples on the top, grease port inside here, and then the bearing, it's got the hole here. Try to line them up as best you can. Oh uh, yeah, one more thing. When doing a front or a rear, we need to take up this space, the outside diameter of the inner bearing retainer has a flange on it. And to make that up, because there is no inner plate, like on the old style bearing. This one goes together with the gasket on each side. Okay, the new style, there is no flange on the inner bearing retainer. And we need to make up that distance across there, which takes three gaskets. So we need three one eighth gaskets to do one seal when you're mounting the new style on the fronts or the rears of the Conquest. Okay, so that bearing, the inner retainer, is going to slide right in. And it's kind of locks in place there. It's going to be a little bit different on the mids. We're going to probably have to hone out some of the plastic, but we'll get to that here in a few minutes. So this one, it's the inner retainer is held on the inner ring, but then the bolts going around the outer diameter are also going to hold it in place. Try to make sure your grease nipple is up. 
And remember, this is a dry run, so I don't need my sprocket in there. Three gaskets. Bearing. Right there is a the little grease hole. If you can see that. And then my grease nipple is up here. So this is all going to slide together like that. And the taint's going to work with those bolts. Okay, so not something I would recommend doing, but I have filed off the uh, squared end of the carriage bolt just for a field test more or less now. I don't have any new bolts long enough. Okay, so for the sake of easiness, I just went ahead and tacked some nuts on the back of these old carriage bolts. And that's just going to be to hold them in place so that I can actually tighten them and loosen them off when I get to that point. Okay. Axles in. Bearing carriers are in there. We'll put our thrust washer back on. This is just to locate the shaft. We'll tighten these up, put the, put the nuts on, tighten these up, and that'll give us our position. And once I've got that, I'll just mark it or clamp it or something like that. And that will be where I want that bearing tightened on the shaft. Butt the clamp right up against the bearing face on the inner race. Put it right there. And now, back it all off, take it out of there, and we should be able to put the set screws in place. Okay. So now, We have to actually take the inner bearing retainer off to get at the set screws. So, now we know where the bearing goes. Put it all back together again. This time, don't forget your sprocket. And that's going to be it, once we get it all tightened up. The shaft is located, the bearing is located, gaskets are in, sprockets on. All I need to do is get some new bolts. Okay, so we've got our four bolts tightened up. We're good here. Got the sprockets back on, thrust washer is tightened up. So, the axle's back in place, all we gotta do is put the chain on. <laughs>